Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and we're back doing more World Boss Legend testing with no peace. This time we're going up against Mephisto instead of Null, stage 9. And we're bringing along a Valkyrie for the villains to have a little bit of a buff. Because Mephisto is a little bit harder than Null. And I thought, you know what, it'll be to be fair here and to just be a little bit more interesting and fun instead of doing Null all the time. We're going to do Mephisto and we're going to give all of our villains uh, the Valkyrie support. So we're doing Supergiant, Moonstone, Loki, and if we have time, call Obsidian. And we're seeing how good all four of them or three of them do against Mephisto Stage 9. And it's actually quite a bit harder. I've been doing a little, doing a little bit of testing. It's quite a bit harder than Null. So uh, hopefully hopefully they can make it work. But uh, you also have to make... You also have to survive. I took a lot of damage there. But you got to make the Awakening skill work with um, with Supergiant. That's the tricky part. Because you got to use the wall so strategically. Uh, and it can be really difficult. Given that... Uh, Mephisto likes to teleport around. Okay. So we want to keep him as close to the wall as possible here. Nice. Combo off. Pop off. Nice. Yeah, this is basically like that's a no, that's a non-negotiable part of the of the of the run. I think if you miss more than one super giant uh, awakening, you're kind of screwed. Oh, Morbius is kind of fast. I also find that a lot of my characters are really slow. Now, without the movement speed buff, it's crazy. So we want to keep uh, Mephisto here. Because we're about to pop off an Awakening. I know I'm getting hit, but hopefully we can tank it. Supergiant has a really good lead for this. Loki and Moonstone are going to be a little bit more different. We might just use like uh, Sentry lead or something like that to give them debuff because I think it's kind of necessary like she almost died and I have the debuff lead so but yeah Morbius is fast eh so the the days of having to bring a fast like a runner are still very much alive here if you don't have a bunch of uh you know movement speed on your cards and crafted pierces like that okay we're not gonna pop the awakening skill here because we need him to be close to a wall like it's night and day like I, I cannot tell you how much worse it is uh, so I would rather save the Awakening than use it. I just need him to come closer, man. Come closer, you dum-dum. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so we got this in the bag. I wanted him close here as well because I think I can keep him close for the next Awakening here. Uh, in his third phase. But yeah, she doesn't do that much. Wow, she really doesn't do that much damage without her uh, her awakening, eh? Yikes. These characters seem so mortal. It's crazy. I didn't say mortal. I said mortal. Wordle. Okay, I need to... No, yeah. See, this is what I didn't want to happen. See how much worse the damage is? Yeah, don't don't panic pop. Don't panic pop uh, Super Giant's Awakening skill just because it's up. Because you honestly can end up losing more damage than you gain by using it. Like, she does a bar. A little bit more than a bar. I'm like holding down the Awakening skill. Nice. That was much better damage. I'm a little bit ahead of my proc, I just noticed. Ugh. Also, this is a judgment, not a rage. So, you also have um, the lack of pierce synergy to consider that we talked about in the uh, showcase with um, Scarlet Witch and stuff. I would love to pop my awakening here. But he's going to stun us. Yeah, it's mad annoying. Uh, let me pop it anyways. We just need damage at this point. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous, baby. We have a debuff lead. And then we can also... 
just sacrifice Morbius? <laughs> no, we can't sacrifice Morbius. We must sacrifice Valkyrie. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. With 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 enough time here, we should be our. Oh no, he cutscened! No, he he cutscened and he knocked me out of my awakening skill. All right, we're fine. <laughs> Yo, Morbius. But seriously, that was really hard. Seventeen seconds left. That was really hard. Wow, with Valkyrie. Crazy. All right, Super Giant. All right, Moonstone, here we go. <laughs> Called her Super Giant, no worries. She'll forgive me for that, boys. All right. We're gonna pop the co-op skill here because the explosions from the leftover awakening skill does trigger her next proc, so we sort of lose that one regardless. Hopefully we don't get knocked back there, nice. Uh, guard, break in, guard break is still a very real issue for super, for uh, Moonstone because of the um, the lack of guard break immunity. I don't have a mighty destruction on her. We just have a regular energy still. So let's see here. We're also kind of... He's very close to his uh, phase change. So we're actually not going to use the awakening. Maybe I could have. I just didn't want to pop the awakening and then he teleports to do this enrage phase, right? That would have been... I would have lost a lot more DPS, so it's unfortunate that we don't get to have it cool down here. But on the flip side, we do pump out as much damage as possible. Nice, we're in the next phase. Okay, cool. So yeah, we may have been able to... Did we get that proc? No, I was trying to do five cancel co-op, which is the third skill. We were not able to get that off. She has a really long rotation, so you do have to be careful not to commit, overly commit, because see this tornado thing is coming next. And that is, yeah, that just shredded me. Yeah, these strikers are not really helping me out. They're building up his uh, bar too much. Okay, okay, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. I'm gonna switch here to get rid of that tornado. That secondary tornado. We're using uh, sentry lead. I think it's really important to note that because I don't know if Moonstone can survive without something like that. Okay, that damage is pretty good. We use the co-op here skill here to protect ourselves. Okay. Nice, nice pop off. Nice. Yeah, she Oh, she still got the damage, but uh, she she does not have the survivability, bro. This is not the proc that we wanted, but he's going to go into his phase change soon anyways. Like right now? Yeah. I just wanted the heal, to be honest with you. I popped the three for the heal. Whew, you got to play so differently, man. It's crazy. All right, let's see here. This should be a really good proc. Eight bar, seven, six, five, four. Nice. Very nice, Moonstone. Pop off the co-op. Oh, delayed it. Okay. Uh, a little too delayed. Okay. I don't want to pop the four here because we don't need it. Yeah. Okay. Two minutes left is very close here. Let's see what happens. Um, I'm also just going to wait because I need the... Um, I needed the four ready for the six. I wasn't going to pop the four and then wait. It's like 13 seconds. Oh, that was pretty good. So basically what I'm doing on the on the rotation after the awakening skill is I'm using the co-op uh, cuz I think that the explosions are going to trigger the proc. If the explosions and the third skill co-op don't trigger the proc, then what I do is I use um, the her third skill. This is not recommended. And I lost a bunch of HP. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what I was thinking there cuz we didn't have the fourth skill. That was kind of a mistake. That was a, that was panic, Alex. He he comes out sometimes. All right, all right, little little Moon Knight. Uh, okay, so she does like close to three bars. That's pretty good. I hate this skill so much, dude. Okay, we're just gonna stall to get the awakening as well because uh, she'll die. <laughs> she she will die. She can die. Oh. That was bad. That was really bad timing on my part. I should not have done that. Oh, okay. We're going to have a chance to do one more awakening. Uh, 
but we also need to manage our fourth skill. Uh, hello, sentry lead. Hello, sentry lead. Hello, 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 hello. What the heck? Okay, that's pretty good damage. Oof, yeah, this is how it used to be, eh? This is how world boss, this is how tight world boss used to be. Yep. Alright, let's see if she's got what it takes. Nope. Oh my goodness. No way, dude. So freaking close. My god. Okay, so I definitely could have cleared that. That's so annoying. Okay, we're going to leave that one there. I definitely could have cleared that if he didn't cutscene me in my second last awakening skill. That was just really bad luck and not bad. Well, a bit of bad luck. I could have played around it, but uh, it's very difficult when you're under a minute to try to play around things and stall longer and longer because you also have to consider that it's got a 30 second cooldown on the awakening. So if you stall too long, then you might not have enough time to still squeeze in two more before the end of the fight because you need about six or seven seconds left. Damn. Really close on that one, but let's see how Loki does. I want to believe that Loki has a pretty good chance because he's got a CTP of Rage, which we know is better than Energy without Pierce. Well, not better, but I think it's a bit more consistent. And um, my Loki has a pretty stacked build as well. The only thing is we actually have to play out the, th the Tier 3 skill. So it's going to be interesting. We actually didn't proc our Rage on that Tier 3. Wow, that would have been perfect for AVX. We're basically using our ABX rotation. I also have to make sure that he survives. <laughs> That's going to be the bigger thing because usually you recommend President Loki for survivability in World Boss Legend because his fourth skill heals multiple times. Um, but let's see if he can do it. Yeah, but the Rage Brock is, is very um, inconsistent, eh? Wow. Okay, we just... Oof, this is going to be close. This is going to be a close one for sure. Oh, he does pretty good damage. Wow. I'm surprised, Loki. I'm going to use the co-op skill here to protect ourselves. Not enough protection, it seems. But he's kind of flying right now. He's, he's doing pretty well. Damn. Okay, Loki. Not what I expected. We had to go fast with um, with uh, Sentry there to make sure that we um, hit the last one. I'm a little bit worried about his health, though. I had to do the co-op skill there again to protect myself from... He keeps doing that tornado attack, bro, and I only have the one heal on the third skill, which is not even that good. Yeah. This is why people recommend President Loki. Bro, but he has so much damage, though. Like, he does so much damage. It's crazy. Sentry still fast, fast as all get out, you know? Sentry still super fast. All right, all right. Well, listen, damage wise, he's definitely got this. It's not the damage that I'm worried about. One of those purple things. Oh, come on. I had to switch. He was going to die. So stupid. He wouldn't move. Gonna do a little bit of damage here with Sentry. Remember when people said Sentry was good for World Boss Legend? I remember. Ain't no way. Ain't no. Ain't no way. That's the uh, that's the PG version of that song, by the way. And I'm I'm prioritizing the third skill right now, dude. Run, Loki, run! You're so slow. Oh my God, Sloki. Bruh. Loki is the highest watched Disney Plus show as well, apparently. That's cool. 
Yeah, he's definitely got the damage. Oh boy. Had to switch there. Had to switch. I was probably going to die otherwise. Do a little bit of tickle damage with uh, with Sentry here. Like, we know damage is not Loki's issue, right? So I'm just trying to keep him alive. Nice, nice, nice. That damage is lit. Wow, he's better than Moonstone. Wow, 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 wow. I mean, he's got a rage though. Remember, there's no, there's no uh, synergy between um, between uh, energy and and, and uh, no pierce. We're gonna wait for the cutscene here, and then we're gonna pop off. You absolutely need to play aggressively like this at the end. If you don't have any pierce, you can't stall. So, wow, Loki actually is the most impressive one. I'll explain that. That's because of the daily reset. Uh, Loki's actually the most impressive one, completing that in 30 sec with 30 seconds left. Wow. If you told me, if you tapped me on the shoulder and you were like, hey, Alex, you're going to go and change your cards to not have any pierce, and then you're going to test super giant with the judgment moonstone with an energy and 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 tva loki with a rage and you're gonna test them uh versus stage nine mephisto with basically identical teams and loki's gonna be the best i would have laughed at you i am shook i am shook right now that's insane so yeah and the, the other thing that i love about these comparisons is that they all have different ctps so you're really seeing the, the whole, you know, you're really seeing the whole um, range of possibilities. Moonstone was probably the run that I could have cleaned up the most, so she definitely could have cleared that. But Loki cleared it first try for me with mistakes, with, you know, uh, the, the boss interrupting and cutscening me and stuff with 30 seconds left. He finished with the most amount of time, twice as much time as Moonstone. I mean, as Supergiant. And, uh, and he's easy to play. Just the survivability is a bit of a question. A bit of a question on the survivability. But yeah, wow. Not what I expected at all. I expected Moonstone to dominate this this um, this comparison. Wow. So yeah, Loki continues to be basically the most valuable character in Marvel Future Fight in terms of raw value, especially for returning accounts who don't have stacked peers. Loki is just unbeatable. Crazy value. Crazy, crazy, crazy value. So yeah, hit me up in the comments. He doesn't even have capped. He doesn't even have capped dodge. What am I doing? He doesn't even have cap dodge. He's 3% off cap. Wow, he could be stronger. Okay, uh, that's also the amount of dodge that he had for the uh, dispatch video. Wow. Okay, Alex, good job. Anywho, guys, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Smash the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.